Ever try to move something in SketchUp, but end up tangling up everything instead? Or you can move things, but they end up sinking into one another or floating in space? For self-taught SketchUp users, the struggle is real. But here's how you can avoid it. Pick the Select tool and pre-select the thing you want to move. Then pick the Move tool. And it's a two-click tool, so you can click and let go on a very specific spot to pick up the object, and then click and let go on another specific spot to set it down. Where you clicked first will match up with where you clicked second. So you want to be really intentional about both clicks. You can pair this technique with inference locking. So while you're in the middle of moving something, you can press one of your arrow keys to lock that direction. The up arrow is for the blue axis direction, right arrow is for the red axis direction, and the left arrow is for the green axis direction. This works great for making sure things are touching and not sinking into each other, or for centering objects on one another. It takes a bit of practice to master the move tool, but your future self will definitely thank you. Do you know a friend who might be making this mistake? Be sure to tag them to help them out. Oh, and this is just one of seven critical concepts we cover in our Getting Started with SketchUp video. Be sure to watch that video on our channel now so you don't miss the rest of the tips. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Until next time, happy sketching!